This video is a tutorial on how to be super hot and sexy during quarantine. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Just kidding. Hello and welcome back to my freaking channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey everybody, how are we doing? Um, I know I'm doing super yummy and delicious um, here in quarantine. Social distancing, self-isolation. It's really fun and good. But I do have a lot of time on my hands and I decided during um, the social distancing that I'm doing, I'm going to teach you guys how to get super hot and sexy um, during quarantine. Um, and basically the way that I'm going to get super hot and sexy is that I'm going to do my makeup right now. I'm just going to dig right in. I thought I would also talk about all the fun things I've been doing. I've been on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. Here's my TikTok. Um, they're pretty funny. I think I'm pretty hilarious. I've also been doing homework. Hashtag Zoom University. Hashtag just kidding because I haven't used Zoom one singular time since this has started, but it's fine. It's good. But something I've noticed about my TikTok is like every single TikTok, like everyone for the last like five days is about One Direction. Or five seconds of summer. And unfortunately, I've had to face something difficult. I have had to re stan. Now I know what you're thinking, Reese, you unstand? No, it wasn't purposeful. I didn't unstan on purpose. I simply drifted, um, is how I would describe it. I have decided in the last week, oh boy. Did I? No, yeah, I soiled that. I've decided in the last week that it is simply time. Hi. Hello? Let me let him in. Anyway, now that I let my cat back in, there he is. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Um, so where was I? What? Um, I think I was on the topic of restanding One Direction. And basically, that's what I'm doing. I simply am, I'm, I'm, I'm simping. I don't even know what that means. But I think I'm simping for One Direction again. I think more importantly, I'm simping for, um, Callum from Five Seconds of Summer. I, I will say, I am hit, I am a simp. <laughs> I am a simp for Callum. Um, I've been doing a lot of viewing of pictures of him viewing of videos of him it's dark times here in my house um actually it's not that bad i'm enjoying it thoroughly i figured out that they're actually releasing oh i just messed up my brush so much i figured out that they're releasing an album oh, oh my god they're releasing an album in like two days and that literally <laughs> they've left me no choice but to fully devote my life to them once more and I'm pretty excited it's gonna be woo, it's gonna be pretty good I think and I checked my TikTok today I've made like 13 TikToks about Callum in the last like three days so I need to honestly cool it or I'm gonna die alone because real boys are gonna see that not that Callum's not a real boy but like he's like pretty unattainable perfect boy and then like there's like real boys that will marry me one day well hopes are high that I get to marry Callum Anyway, I've said I've said too much. I'm exposing myself. But that's what I've been up to. And I've been watching a lot of Netflix. A lot of ugly delicious. A lot of um Breakfast, Lunch and Dinner, both amazing shows. David Chang is such a good host. And he makes me want to just tune in. I love him. Um, Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner is so good. The episode with Seth Rogen. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I read... <sighs> I didn't even read the whole book. I'm half, um, I'm over halfway through a book called Along for the Ride. Very good. Really makes me want to move to California and work in a bookstore. Not a bookstore. In a little clothing store on a pier. And what's unfortunate about that is I will not be doing that. I'm going to waste away every second of my summer in a restaurant. This is me all summer. Um, ready? Hi, my name is Reese. I'm going to be your server today. Can I stir you off something to drink? 
And then they look like this. They look at me like this. Coke! And I go, right, right. Is Pepsi okay? And they go, oh. no, but it'll do. Diet, lime. And I go, okay. And that's what my whole summer is, basically every summer. Am I pretty? Tell me I'm pretty. Just kidding. <laughs> Unless you want to. Just kidding. So I think the makeup I want to do, I want to do cute and fun, pinky peachy makeup. Mmm. Cute. I've been trying to pick up some new hobbies while I've been home. And one of them that I'm desperate to do, this is not peachy. This is hot pink. Anyway. One of the things I want to do is start a food blog. Comment down below if you think I should start a food blog. Actually, I did some research. Starting a food blog is not easy. You have to buy a domain and like pay money. How does that look? Good? I think it looks good. I think it looks good. And then now what I'm gonna do. Oh my God, you know who I would die for? Brittany Broski. Why is she so hilarious? The one where she's like, honestly? <laughs> I do not know how to get this plunger off of my head. Uh, mom, I clogged the toilet and I'll, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not know how to use the plunger. That one I think about every day. I also think about, do I smell a seed? Do I smell a seed? I smell a seed. Peck, peck. I think about that every day. And if I'm not thinking about that, I'm thinking about the dirt. Oh, Reese, oh, did I put too much on? Yeah, I did. You might be saying, Reese, what is the dirt? Let me tell you what the dirt is. The dirt is the Motley Crue biopic starring, I don't know. <laughs> the only one that I know is Machine Gun Kelly, which recently I've discovered, I think I'm a Machine Gun Kelly stan. He do be kind of looking like Luke Hemmings a little bit. And I think that's where it stems from. Here, I'll put you a side by side. So, this is here. Luke Hemmings, Machine Gun Kelly. I don't know. Do y'all see that? Because I see it. But, um, I also know nothing about him. So, if he's problematic, can someone please let me know so I can stop standing? Because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it here. I really enjoy standing. <gasps> do I look like a fool? Do I look like a fool? Be honest. Um, what else have I been doing besides standing Machine Gun Kelly, thinking about Harry Styles, thinking about Calum Hood? Oh, I just moved out of school for the rest of the school year. Mm, that one was really fun. Um, I really would recommend to anybody, um... That was so fun. I really loved it, and it made me so happy that I'm home. Just kidding. I love being home, but school be hitting different. I don't know, but my sorority just decided that they might do online chapter, and that's pretty exciting. We'll see if that actually happens, but I really want it to happen because I miss it. All right, ran out of space on the cami. And I also realized while that was happening that if you follow me on any social media, everything I've said, you've already heard a thousand times this week, so I'm really sorry, but... Um, it sucks to suck, unfortunately, so you did have to just watch all of that. Um, I don't know. I truly do not know. In follow-up to my last video, um, this was my last video, it, it, it was really tough for me to upload that because <laughs> I, oh, I just wanted to be in the vlog squad so bad, and... Uploading that video was like my final cry for help, you know? I like, it was me saying like, David Dobrik, hire me. I'm sick and tired of like my mundane life, basically. And he said, and he, you know what? He didn't say anything. I did not get a reply. And I'm devastated, heartbroken. Um, my papa texted me like two days after I posted that and was like, what are you doing today? And I, I said, I'm going to work. And he said, for David, because he thought it was a real job application. But I had to say, no, Papa, I'm going to be a waitress. And that's what I did. I went to my restaurant. I look really cute. Quarantine who? I don't know her. Yes, I do. I know her well. We're good friends. Should I start an OnlyFans? Just kidding. I won't do that. 
What would I even post on OnlyFans? Eyelash pics? Yeah, because, um, yeah, I would. So, okay, and the final step to looking super hot and sexy during quarantine um, is to practice social distancing and good hygiene measures, like washing your hands and using sanitizer and wearing a mask if you don't feel good. Um, so practice those and you are automatically super hot and sexy. Clarify that I know people have jobs and that is okay. You're doing the best you can and you're still so hot and sexy. Keep it up, keep up the good work. But if you want other ways to be hot and sexy, you can do like your makeup and like to look hot and sexy like me. Speaking of Corona, I'm kind of scared because I read online last night um, that one of the symptoms, um, it's pretty devastating, is it like if you have a fat and juicy ass like like you're high risk and like i hate to say it but like i have the fattest and juiciest ass like ever so i'm kind of scared um please keep me in your thoughts because like my fatty dumpa like is putting me at risk here since the only event that i have to attend while i'm stuck in my house is family dinner downstairs the next Step to being super hot and sexy during quarantine is um, literally taking off all the makeup that you just put on mere minutes ago um, because you don't want to break out more than you already have because all you've eaten during quarantine are Honey Nut Cheerios and iced coffee. Mm, I'm using Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It's kind of like, oh, it's kind of like the one by... Oreo? I don't know. Ew! Do you see the gross? But um, just took all that makeup off because, unless you want to keep it on, but personally, I it felt like too much to go eat some tacos with my mom. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ow! Stay in your house, and I'll see you next time on my freaking channel. This is my outro song. This is my outro song. Ooh, copyright. I don't want to get copyrighted. This is my outro song.